I just watched Finish It Friday over at Roaming with Rover. So she's got some squares done for their, their little spring square swap. Say that five times fast. I couldn't even say it once, even a bit fast. But anyhow, so I was so inspired by her Finish It Friday that I decided to do Finish It Friday too. Copycat, kind of, maybe, sort of. We're friends. She'll understand. It's cool. So, a couple of things that I finished this week. Just the progress report. I am... Oh, my God. I want to do this, and I'm going to tell you. I went to Goodwill. <laughs> yes, I did. And I went to Goodwill. All right. I made some granny squares. And I had three of these from Hobby Lobby. And they're pretty. And then I had one of these from Hobby Lobby. So it made a four by five square blanket. I do not know the measurements. These are nine inch square. So nine times four is 36. Nine times five is 45. And then the edging probably gave it another inch. So yeah, that's perfect. This will probably be donated. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do with it. But it is so priorities. Oh my gosh, I've got more. I just do squares because I, you know me, I got a bunch of red heart. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Speaking of red heart, I, I barely brushed. I actually don't think I brushed my hair today. It's been one of those days. I've been busy since the moment I got out of bed. And it's 4 o'clock my time. 4.30. 4 something. Mm. They just opened back up. So now we've got our shave. Super, 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 like super super shaved so good mm. my first thought this has it's uh called fuzzy monkey so it's um orange and banana i was thinking man if i put a little bit of vodka in there maybe a little bit of tequila i can mix that up that's wrong that was so wrong okay so i'm reaching behind me because this is the store okay there's a whole long story. I'm gonna to try to make it as short as possible. I am making five Christmas mosaic blankets. Hopefully we'll have those done by Christmas in July, right? Have those done by Christmas in July and get those sold and out of here. Because the next five blankets I'm working on is a dragonfly blanket. It's very asymmetric, it's, it's very symmetrical, excuse me, symmetrical and um, kind of like in a Southwestern style, more, you know, geometric, but not, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to work on that. Now, I sent to you some yarn to Stephanie. Stephanie, hello. Thank you very much. And you know what she did? This was free to her. She didn't have to do this. I said, here, take the yarn. Take it. Have it. Don't pay me nothing. You don't have to do anything. I mean, you can donate, obviously, if you want for help for shipping. I got a $25 gift certificate to Amazon. I was like, no, 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 no give me money. But she did, and I was so excited because I am starting to buy yarn for those five Dragonfly uh, blankets. Now the dragonfly blanket has it's one color on the back, right? So it's a cream as the pattern goes, and then at the bottom there's reeds and swampy area like cattails, and then above that is dragonfly, and just like two, just they, they're just basic geometrical shaped dragonflies. So I was looking at the yarn, and I look at that. That's for the um the cattails and stuff. So I've got the yarn. I think this will be for, I might be able to do two blankets and I might get it a little bit darker next time. It smells like plastic, but I don't care. Cause it's super saver and it's super yummy and I love super saver. So um, online and Amazon, they have so many colors. I mean, y'all, have you not even seen that? It's called fall. It's basically called fall. That's what it's called. It's so yummy. It's five ounces 141 grams and 236 yards gorgeous so that's going to be the reeds and then i think uh, so i just got the, uh, that's that's what i bought so far <laughs> that's it that's all i got um so you know just when i come across a color that i really like and think it would look really really good that's what i'm going to buy <clears throat> and if you want to send me a 25 dollar gift card i'll go for i that actually bought i have six of those back there um it was so pretty okay let me put this away because it was just so much fun i started so the christmas blankets i have two you can't see them this is all the yarn for the christmas blankets all bunch and uh i i've done two pages it's a 17 page pattern so 
Uh, I've done two of them so far, two whole pages. I'm working on the second page right now for this one. Okay. Yes, you know, when you get older, you make those little noises, the little noises. Yeah, that's me. So I am on row 17. I got half a page left to go for this one. So I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm going to work on this one this weekend. Get this one done and start on the fourth one and do a second page on that one. So I'm doing a page. I'm just going down the line doing a page each because I don't want to, you know, if I start this and do the finish it all, I may not want to go back and finish the other four. So we're doing it all at the same time, which is a lot easier for me. Okay. And what else did I do? So I finished that one. Now, a while ago, I have so many cardigans, and I'm doing a cardigan. I haven't worked on it. That little square one has a bunch of little squares using fingering weight. Oh, my God, it's so good. It's over there on my other chair. <sighs> so good. So I have Tea Time from Hobby. Tea Time. This is the second skein, the second ball. This is it has so many, like 500 and some. Um, I don't know. Y'all have seen this before, right? The tea time that has 580 meters, 634 yards. Okay. And I am more than halfway done. But this is what I got. So I've got the length and I've got the sleeves. Right. So I've got the length of it all the way. And the sleeves are done. This list could be a little longer. I haven't decided if I want to put a ribbing on it or not, but I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. So this is the back, burr, 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 sleeves, and then this is the front. So I am making this part right here. I'm uh, a little bit bigger chested, so I have to. I make the front a little bit longer so it hangs, and it'll probably fold in like this to make little, like like that, right? So I've done this side so far, right here. Well, I still, I think I'm going to do, I, I really want to like overlap a little bit and then just hang really loosely and nicely. Uh, so I will probably, it's so stinking pretty. Did you not just see the back of that? It looks so pretty. So pretty. I'm going to design one. Let me see if I can do this. So I love, you can't see it. Well, when we, we'll do pictures later, maybe after I get it done. So yeah, I'm just working on the sides, front panels, I guess. I mean, Hexies already have front panels, but because of the way I make them, you have to make them a little bit bigger. And I am going to put a little border around all of it. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be one color border, like a black, or if I'm just going to do something with this yarn. I don't know. But I'll take two cakes. I will probably have some left over. Because mm. I did the whole body of the thing, and I had to um, use a new one for the sleeves. The sleeves take quite a bit. All right. Anyway. Anyhow, I'll let you know that I'm a size 2X, so you will, if you're not as large as I am, you will have, they'll use less. I love hexes. Okay. I probably have gobs of st other stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm making these. I have comfy cotton just sitting right next to me, so I'm just making some squares as I go. Just making some squares as I go. Just making squares. I have regular um, granny squares, and then I have these little shell squares, which you know I like too. I like them all. I like them all. Just trying to get rid of some yarn. Not really rid of it, but put them to a purpose. Okay. Now, I went to the Goodwill store, and O to the M to the G. So I bought several things. My daughter swiped them. Um, which is okay. I got a couple of notebooks for her. They're really, really cute. I got a uh, dragonfly in a jar. It's called my pet dragonfly. And it's a mason jar and it has a uh, firefly that's attached to a wire and it lights up and it has batteries and it just goes tink, 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 you know, like a trapped dragonfly. Except you don't have to trap the real thing. And I looked on Amazon to see, because I had this years and years ago, like 12 years ago um, before M was born and I could never find them. I went to Amazon. They don't have them. They're, they, I guess they don't make them anymore. But they do have butterflies in a jar. So I am going to buy a butterfly one. And it lights up. I think it lights up. It didn't say it lit up, though. I don't know. I'll have to check. Anyway. The dragonfly one. You know, guys, with me and dragonflies, you know. Okay. If I do not put that back. <laughs> I 
believe this was wrapped. These were wrapped in a one, two, where's the other one? There were three of them and I put them over here so I wouldn't lose them so I could show them to you because they were just good and gorgeous. Now you're looking at the back of them. Now these are Emily's. She stole them. Oh, here it is. I didn't realize how many came in here. It was all sealed up. And I looked, but I looked at this one. This was in front. And I was like, oh my gosh, these are the cutest little thing. They're like little lunch boxes, blah, blah, blah. And then I looked again. There's like three in a pack. Right? And I'll show you them a little more in depth. So I'm looking at them. And Emily, I said, oh, just pick one. We'll use them in lunch boxes and you can bring them home. And she goes, oh, I'm going to pick this one. I'm like, okay. And then she goes, uh, mom. I was like, yeah. She goes, there's more. I'm like, what? So she opens them and you have this size and you have this size, a little bit smaller and you have, <laughs> so that's done and you have this size, okay, and this cost me all of like I think three dollars, I don't think they knew what they had, that size and this size I mean this, this is so cute so this size this size right this size this size okay so those two sizes and then this big one right here and then this medium one right here oh no this is the big one look at that look at that that is the cutest four of them in one I mean and they are like I don't they're so cute. Let me put them all back together again. Because <laughs> this is just so darling. So this goes in the front because it's folded in the back. And then the next size, we're going to shimmy it all in there. We're going to shimmy, shimmy. Do a shimmy, shimmy, shimmy in there. And then this big one right there. Oh my gosh. I am super stoked. That was so so stinking beautiful. So we've got this one in the birdhouses. We've got this one in the butterfly. And then she let me have this one that is the farm animals. And they all have four of them in there. I just, that was amazing. And gives you ideas of what you can do with lunch. Now these are actually craft. They're a lot thicker. They're a lot thicker, but they are amazing. And they got little, I mean, they're just so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I, I like cuteness. So I got that. And then, well, I, I have no, I so in my Goodwill, the yarn is usually hung up on the end caps. And I was looking at the journals and I'm looking at journals. I'm looking at journals like, what is that? This was stuffed in the back. I didn't even, oh, well, you can't open it because they, they clipped it shut. So I'm going to have to unclip it. But this thing is look, has two levels. First of all, the bag itself has two levels. It costs $12.99 for this bad boy, right? Yeah, $12.99. Okay, let me break the clip. Let me break it, clip a clip. Let me break the clip. But it was so interesting. All these are on cones, and they don't look like cotton at all. I mean, they could be. They, they don't look like, like that kitcheny cottony stuff. Oh, they use two. <laughs> they use two to clip this one. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay. It's so heavy. It is so heavy. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's all greens and teals. No black. Some of these are more than the same color. The one more than one. Same. Okay, this is only one. Oh, it's acrylic. Hmm. Oh, it's old. I can't even read it. Who puts it on this cone? Okay, so we have Astra Astra Acryl. Astra Acryl. This is called Astra Acryl. Made in Mexico. It says uh, Medea in Mexico. This is made in Mexico, so it's Astra Acryl. 
Wow. Wow. Look at that. It is a one weight. <laughs> it is a one weight. Oh man, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, it is gorgeous. And the twist on this is pretty cool. Oh, it is so nice. It smells really good. Oh, it smells really good. It almost smells like a book. Oh, it smells good. Look at these cones. Look at that. Look at those cones. That's really cool. That's a beautiful color. And I think we have whoa, this one is super thin. This I think I have I only have one of these greens. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's lots of I have a ton of greens in here. Two there's two of them that are the same color and all the rest are different. So this one is a brown. It's also made in Mexico. It's a three ply. Uh T A M M S A. No, T H T A H M S A. And it says something acryl, right? Look at that beautiful green. It is the same yarn. I can tell by the way it's wound. I mean, by the way it looks. Oh my gosh. Okay. okay let's do another green. Oh, this one's a little thicker. This is acrylic, but it's a little bit thicker. It feels a little bit thicker. I can't tell. It does. It feels thicker. There isn't a label in here. The, the, um, yeah, it's the same. Maybe it's just wound. I don't know. It looks, the, I don't know. So good. That green. Oh, that's a beautiful green. That's a beautiful green. Oh, okay. So I have two of these ones. No, they're different. I mean, they look the same, but they're different. Let me see. This one is made. Oh, it's called the Knittery. It's in Minnesota. The, the, this cost $11.87. And this label is so old. In 1992, there's a date, February 14th, Valentine's Day, 1992. Made in the USA. It's a, one of their Christmas yarns. And it is no me's yarn. So it was, oh my gosh, it's 100% acrylic. Wow. 1992. Okay. It's really in good shape. This is the Mexican yarn. And those colors look exactly the same. I don't know if it's the same yarn though. This one seems a little bit softer. Oh yeah, it's definitely different. Okay, yeah, it's different. I don't know if you can tell the color difference, but for me, it is definitely different. Oh wow, that's amazing. Okay, um, here's a dark green. Oh, this is like foresty green, and it's a thicker yarn. Yeah, it's it's the one that's yarn lose yarns. The color is hunter green. Wow, it's made in the U.S. Certified with pride, made in the U.S.A. This is old. Look at that. It's acrylic. It's like a three weight. Let's put that there. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we're getting into some of the tealy colors. <gasps> Hello, sparkle. Hello, sparkle. That label is plum. Gone. It is gone. Oh, this is sparkly. This looks like one of the other Mexican yarns. Sparkle, sparkle. Oh, this, I mean, look at this. This is yardage. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. it. Looks like a dying Christmas tree on my floor. This is a tealy green. More green than teal, I guess. The label is plumb more off on this. This is also a very, very light weight. Tons and tons of yardage. So good. Oh my gosh. I mean, whoever bought this bought a ton. Just went and bought a ton and used some. And you can tell which ones were the favorite colors. Because this one has a little bit left. And it's all so shiny and shimmery. 
That's like a very light green. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Do you see this shine? I don't know if you see it, but it's so pretty. It's shiny. Oh, it's not sparkly. It's shiny. Oh, look at this. Okay, this says made in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Cancun. Cancun. <laughs> Cancun. Very nice. And then one last one. Whoa, this one is a thicker one. This is a three-way, I think. Mary Lou's Symphony. This one's actually made in Canada. Look at that beautiful green. That's a beautiful green. It's got a little, I don't know. It's very thin. Probably it's a three weight. Made in Canada, lot five. And it's called Hunter Green. There's a couple of Hunter Greens here. A couple of Hunter Greens. Okay, let me see if I can get. Okay, so those are my darker. Let, look at those greens. Green and green. Where's my other darker greens? Oh, here's a dark green. Well, darker green. Oh my god, my sparkly one went bye bye. <gasps> my sparkly one bye bye. That's okay. You guys saw them, right? So I got one. That's really nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got ten skeins of yarn. Well, cones of yarn. Oh, my sparkly green one left me. It jumped ship. Okay. I'm gonna try real hard not to uh, start anything. I mean, pff, not that hard. I'm gonna try a little hard. Oh, my ice is melting. Mmm. Oh my gosh, I'm just saying. A little tequila in there, it's so good. Mmm. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, I have my computer in front of me. I'm trying to get my mouse. Urgh. Getting my mouse. Let's see what we got here. So, I am going to go to my subscriptions real quick and see what I'm going to watch next. Now, you know that I watched I watched Dana's Life today, Dana Wonderless Crochet. I watched Robin at Roaming with Rover. Let's see who else I'm going to watch today. Um, Yarny Box has a lot of videos put out today. And can you hear that? Let me go. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Who do I want to do? Passion for Yarn's got a video out. She's got some earthquake also hit Kentucky. Oh yeah, I heard that earthquake hit. Um, let's see. Teal Yarn Cup, the whips have taken over help. Okay, she's speaking my language. Okay, I got to go look at Tony over there. Uh, Mama G Gears got, it's game time with giveaways. Who else do we have? I'm gonna watch, I do like Blossom Crochet with Marty, so I'll watch her. And let's see who else I'm going to watch. Of course, Gina Scrap Tastic Yarns. Um, Gina, your your Granny Square collab came out today. The the April one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Well, that's just enough to get me started. Hopefully, that's enough to get y'all started. Uh, so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but hopefully it's a great day. And uh, just remember to smile big and often because I promise you're going to make somebody's day because <laughs> you already made mine. And so did Goodwill. <laughs> Bye.